Pokemon Stadium is a strategy video game developed by Nintendo EAD with the assistance of Creatures and HAL Laboratory and published by Nintendo 4, the Nintendo 64 video game console. It was released on April 30, 1999, in Japan, March 6, 2000, in North America, March 23, 2000, in Australia, and April 7, 2000, in Europe. Despite it being the first stadium title in Western regions, the game is a sequel to the 1998 Nintendo 64 game Pokemon Stadium, which was only released in Japan. Gameplay is built around a 3D turn-based battling system featuring all 151 creatures from the Game Boy games Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Using the transfer pack accessory that was bundled with the game, the players are able to view, organize, store, trade, and battle with their own Pokémon uploaded from Pokémon Red, Blue, and Yellow. A main focus of the game is completion of the four Stadium Cups, each of which is a series of three-on-three Pokémon battles against an ordered lineup of opponents. Another battle mode called Gym Leader Castle allows battles against the eight Kanto Gym Leaders and the Elite Four. Other features of Pokemon Stadium include mini-games, versus style battles, a Hall of Fame, compatibility with the Game Boy printer, and a built-in emulation function for Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Pokemon Stadium went on to become one of the Nintendo 64's best-selling titles, reaching 1 million copies sold before the end of 2000. Critical reception of the game was mixed to positive, with many critics praising the game's visuals but finding fault with the audio quality. A sequel, Pokemon Stadium 2, was released in English-speaking regions in 2001 as a counterpart for the next-generation Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal games. Development The first Pocket Monsters Stadium was released in Japan on August 1, 1998. Once intended as a Nintendo 6 4DD launch title with a March 1998 release date, it was instead converted to a standard Nintendo 64 game on a 32 MB cartridge. Because of technical limitations, this version features only 42 Pokémon available for battle, instead of the full 151 Pokémon from the Game Boy versions as originally planned. The remaining Pokémon can be viewed in a Pokémon encyclopedia called the Pokédex, but the models lack the required animations for battle. Connectivity with the Pokémon Game Boy trilogy is available using the transfer pack. The game sold the reported 270,000 copies in its first month of release. This version was not released outside Japan, and as such the numbering of the subsequent two is ahead of the North America releases. On February 16, 1999, Nintendo announced that it would be showing Pokémon Stadium 2 in a Japan-exclusive event called Pokémon Festival 99. Early reviews of the game from Japan's weekly Famitsu crew were favorable, because the first game had met criticism for its difficulty, and the AI was toned down for the sequel to make it easier for average players to beat. It was eventually released as Pokémon Stadium throughout North America and Europe. This version features all 151 original Pokémon from the original Game Boy games. The North American version of this game featured support for transferring Pokémon from Pokémon Red, Blue, and Yellow via the N64 transfer pack. Nintendo also released a limited edition bundle in North America that included Pokémon Stadium, a transfer pack, the Nintendo 64 console, two controllers, a poster, the Pokémon Stadium official strategy guide by Prima Games, and a cool Paragon trading card. Gameplay. Unlike Pokémon Red, Blue, and Yellow, Pokémon Stadium does not have a storyline, meaning that it is not considered a role-playing video game. Instead the game challenges the player to defeat trainers at the stadium, a tournament consisting of four cups and 80 battles in total, as well as the Gym Leader Castle, where the player battles the eight Kanto Gym Leaders, the Elite Four, and the Champion. When all cups have been won and the gym leader castle is completed, a battle against Mewtwo will be unlocked. 
defeating Muta unlocks another round of Stadium, Gym Leader Castle, and the Muta Battle, but with higher AI difficulty. In Stadium mode, the player is challenged to earn trophies by winning the Pick a Cup, Petty Cup, Poke Cup, and Prime Cup, each having its own set of rules and restrictions. In the Poke and Prime Cups, four trophies may be earned, one for each level of difficulty, but the Picker and Petty Cups only award one trophy each. After choosing a cup to compete in, the player decides on a party of six Pokémon, which may include any combination of available rental Pokémon and Pokémon imported from a Game Boy cartridge. In each battle, the player and the opponent are only allowed to use three of their six Pokémon. The player wins a trophy after successfully completing all battles in a cup. In the Gym Leader Castle, the player initially challenges the eight Kanto Gym Leaders from the Game Boy games, followed by the Elite Four, and finally the Champion. Before battling a Gym Leader, however, the player must defeat a Gym's three Pokémon trainers. Like in the stadium, the player has to pick a team of six Pokémon, either rental or imported, and may only use three at a time for battling. Each time the player defeats the Elite Four, one of eight randomly selected prize Pokémon will be awarded, which can be transferred to the player's Pokémon Red, Blue, or Yellow game using the transfer pack. The prize Pokémon are any one random species of a Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Eevee, Kabuto, and Omanyte. Additional features in free battle mode, players may conduct practice battles. Players can select rules from any of the tournament cups, or use modified rules. Up to four players may participate, using any combination of rental Pokémon and those imported from cartridges plugged into a transfer pack. At the GB Tower, the player can play Pokémon Red, Blue, or Yellow on the Nintendo 64. Winning tournament cups in the stadium will eventually unlock Dodger Mode and Dodrio Mode. Victory Palace contains statues of Pokémon who have beaten the Elite Four in Gym Leader Castle or completed the highest round of a tournament in the stadium. Battle Now is a battle arena for a quick battle with one or two players where each opponent has a pre-selected team of Pokémon. In an event battle, two players with transfer packs plugged in can use Pokémon from their Game Boy games and battle with custom rules. The gallery is where the player can take photos of Pokémon to be printed at a Pokémon Snap station. The Pokémon Lab is only accessible if a Game Boy cartridge is plugged into the transfer pack. If the game is saved in a Pokémon Center, the player may access the PC and can arrange boxed Pokémon and items. The lab also features an interactive Pokédex and a machine for trading between two cartridges connected by transfer pack. Players cannot, however, transfer rental Pokémon from Pokémon Stadium. Certain Pokémon, such as Mew, could only be obtained at a Nintendo promotional event using a transfer pack. A rental Mew could be obtained in an event, but, as previously stated, cannot be transferred to Pokémon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Kids Club is an area where nine Pokémon-themed mini-games can be played, either as standalone games or as part of a tournament. One to four human players may participate, with the remaining players controlled by the computer. A higher difficulty level can also be unlocked. Reception Pokémon Stadium received mostly mixed to positive reviews from critics. GameSpot contributor Jeff Gersman gave the game a 5.7 mediocre review, writing that the gameplay feels scaled down and oversimplified, even when compared with the original Game Boy games. IGN's Pierre Schneider wrote an 8.2 great review of the game, calling it a must-buy for Pokémon fans but also citing that the audio is nowhere near the quality of some of the recent Nintendo releases regarding the game's announcer. A frequent complaint among critics, RP Gamers Ben Martin wrote that, with a very limited vocabulary and continual comments though out, sick every single action. It certainly is a nice option to be able to turn this guy off in his review on gaming website Cube3.
Ross Morley praised the game's battle system for its beautiful 3D models, special effects and range of options. In its first month of sales in North America, Pokemon Stadium sold over 1 million copies, and it became the best-selling console game in the region during the year 2000. Nintendo of America announced that it would be released as a player's choice title, a well-selling game with a lower suggested retail price. On December 26, 2000, approximately 3.97 million copies have been sold, 3.16 million in the United States, 710,765 in Japan, and 100,000 in the United Kingdom legacy. Only months after its debut, a follow-up to Pokémon Stadium, tentatively titled Pokémon Stadium Gold, Silver, was announced by Nintendo. The game was eventually released in 2000 and 2001 as Pokémon Stadium 2, featuring all 251 Pokémon released at the time. Transfer pack compatibility was included for Pokémon Gold, Silver, and Crystal as well as the original Red, Blue, and Yellow.